we're in Limpopo this time around and uh, you know I'd want to gauge from you first of all why was it so critical for you to bring this campaign to Limpopo this time around? Well I must say that um, I thought it's important for us to come to Limpopo as one of the provinces in South Africa and I think we all know that we had a lot of challenges around Limpopo hence also the rural community it's one of the of the provinces in our country which is highly rural and all the time when we deal with such campaigns we end up in the cities or in urban areas so it's very very important to be inclusive in our approach make sure that all people in our countries we are able to reach out to them that is why we we're moving away from events into national dialogues and going to meet with uh, the various communities, understand the challenges they are facing when it comes to law enforcement, understand the behavior, the pattern, that is why to this particular launch. But also we're bringing men on board, civil society, government departments, uh, professional bodies, we have psychologists, we have lawyers who are going to partner with us in ensuring that this campaign does not become an event, but it becomes part of 365 days where everyone can identify and be able to be counted in in contributing in shaping our society but very key one of the issues we'll be de doing in this particular period we'll, we've also identified lack of skills it's a challenge so we partnering with various sitters in ensuring that women are being skilled, young women, women, then they, it also reduces the dependency of men, which most of the time it leads to abuse. So that's the purpose of this campaign. We are starting here in Limpopo, we'll be going national. We already had trained about 40 facilitators who are going to be part of us. So in every province, every district we'll be going to, we are going to leave a legacy where we can change the lives of women but also bring hope to women in our country once more. You'll be spending about a month in each of these provinces um, uh, as you move from Limpopo to the various, I understand the next province will be in about February next year. Uh, as you try and engage with victims of abuse and violence, after you leave, obviously there is still the remnants of what has probably transpired for some over many years. Do you have the facilities and the backup in terms of social workers to continue the work that you may have done within those months in the various provinces? We have uh, the social workers from government, Department of Social Development, we've agreed. When we move to another province, definitely, because the challenge is that we will have opened old wounds and we have to offer trauma, counseling. We have psychologists, uh, their organization or association has agreed to partner with us in making sure that they play a role. So it's not coming in and moving out. So th we will continue offering services of counseling, but making sure, because part of counseling is to see justice being done. And they will also be assisting. That is why the South African Women's Lawyers Association has partnered with us to offer pro bono advices mm. and assist the women who have been abused or who are victims of violence, including children. Yes. So we are inclusive in that way. But what makes also this year become a bit different, we've partnered with men's organization. Gen Sonke Justice yes. is part of us and they've said it, from their side they'll be mobilizing men to be part of the program yes. and also understand and I think what is key for us in South Africa for me we're not advancing it's very exciting it's very good that we're getting people coming out and opening up very key yes. but it's about finding mechanisms of addressing that but for men to be part of it is very important yes. to understand what is the root cause why are they behaving in this manner and hitting people they so much love most of the time what pushes them so i think the issue of mindset attitude has also to be addressed i'm not saying we're going to resolve it in a year but i must also say this process of dialogue will also link to the internet integrated program of action on gender on violence against women and children led by department of social development all right uh, unfortunately that's all the time that we have for at this stage uh, the 
the Minister for Women in the Presidency, Susan Chabangu, saying that government is also, as it goes on, changing its strategies on how to deal with the scourge of violence against women and children. All inclusive this time is men, which will also participate to try and understand the behavioural patterns in these various homes where we see a lot of this violence occur. And the national dialogues themselves, which will be launched by President Jacob Zuma, is now taking the programme directly to the various communities to try and understand what uh, uh, leads to this violence uh, and this abuse in these different homes. So a change of strategy there from government, hoping that uh, all of that will yield the the possible results since 2008 when we adopted this program of dealing with 16 days of uh, no violence against uh, women and children. We'll certainly hear from President Jacob Zuma a little bit later on this morning on how government plans to bolster these plans. Back to you in studio. Thank you very much, Crisalda. That's our reporter, Crisalda Lewis, live at the main event. That's the launch of 16 days of activism there in Limpopo.